Guys, welcome back to Tax TV. Thank you for joining as ever. And yes, as you can tell from the title, the Reds have made another signing in the transfer window. This one being goalkeeper Samuel uh, Radlinger uh, from Hanover 96, a former side uh, that Daniel Stendhal has managed. Um, so it came through this morning on Twitter that there was going to be a signing. Um, now, not for one minute did I expect it to be another goalkeeper. With this lad being a goalkeeper, of course, uh, six foot five, so large, very big. Uh, apparently, same height as Heinz Muller as well. If you remember Heinz Muller, if there's any Reds fans out there who does remember Heinz Muller, I certainly do. One of the best goalkeepers I've seen at Oakwell. Um, twenty six years of age. Now that uh, the twenty six years of age thing struck me a little bit because obviously the policy of us signing players under the age of twenty five, and then we signed this goalkeeper. That slightly puzzled me a little bit. Um, but nevertheless, you know, he's here. So I think now, obviously, with Davis going, we've brought in uh, Brad Collins. And now this lad, that that ultimately means there's going to be competition for places. Because I think I think in, out of the two, I think Collins will be the one who starts. Because I have looked at uh, Radlinger's um, stats and the teams he's been at. Um, and he has spent a majority of time, even though he has been at Hanover, but he has been out on loan quite a lot. So I can see Collins being the number one and this lad ultimately being here to challenge him on that. Uh, now, he is a lot taller than Brad Collins also. So that could also work in his uh, in his favour. You never know. It's a good situation to be in, but also I look at it at the sense that he surely knows, or if he's done any research at all, knows that we, in the last week or so we've signed a goalkeeper who played regular football in England. So is he going to be signing on as you know, the number one or whatever like that. That's how I would have looked at it and I'm sure he would have also. Um, regarding Jack Walton, I think he will probably be sent out on loan now. Don't don't think he is quite ready for the step up to the championship yet. He did make a couple of appearances as far as a few years ago when we got relegated. I uh, don't really want to reflect on that, but I think he will go out on loan. When he stepped in against... Um, Sorry, when he was needed in League One, I thought he did a really good job. Warsaw in particular, I thought he were fantastic. Uh, but I think it would be the right idea to send Walton out on loan, get him that experience, get him you know used to first team football on a regular basis. And uh, yeah, I think that with obviously this lad coming in, Samuel uh, Radlinger, that gives him the opportunity now to go out on loan. Uh, of course. Now, it doesn't actually state the length of contract that he has been given. Um, I'm, I'm going to assume it'll be, it'll, it won't be as, uh, it won't be four years or three, I don't think. I'm going to put my mind on that. Uh, but from what he said, um, I'm from Austria, but the last eight years I've been uh, on my football journey, I was in Hanover, of course. Then last year I was away on loan in Norway, which was a good opportunity for me to play there. So it is always nice to see different countries, their cultures, and to be at nice football clubs like Barnsley now, so I'm very happy now to be in England and be playing for Barnsley. Uh, and the statement from Paul Conway, uh, we are pleased to announce the signing of, Sam, of Samuel to Barnsley Football Club on, on uh, a permanent deal. This rep represents our fifth signing of the summer transfer window with more to come. Now let's just pause there on that more to come. So the club, you know, they've got the so on the ball, it's fantastic and great to see that other players, you know, are... Uh, they're looking at other players. They're on the ball. They know they don't want to make the same mistakes as last time. Obviously, this wasn't I, nothing to do with the board personally. I don't think last time because they didn't come in till after um, the start of that uh, season in the Championship under Eki and then Maurice. Obviously, Maurice, you could take a little bit from that, but they know you know the, the, they know what to go in and they can't leave Stendhal short. Everything like that. So it's great to see. Um, Samuel has a long history with Daniel uh, and extended experience in his high pressing system at their previous club and over 96. Please welcome Samuel to Barnsley as he joins a very exciting squad for an upcoming season in the Championship. Uh, so yeah, really, really uh, excited. Uh, again, it, 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 always situations like this, it gets me excited because you're like, right, what's going to happen now? Especially like kit numbers being announced, who's going to actually get that number one spot? But like I said, I do firmly believe Brad Collins will be number one I, I could be wrong you know and I'll admit if I'm wrong 
But that's my personal view on that. But then again, could this lad be number one? He's a little bit older, uh, got more experience in different countries, etc. Uh, obviously, Brad Collins is English, so he's, he's and he's and he's young and he's only really played in in this country. But yeah, well, we'll wait and see. And it's a good situation to be in. Uh, like that says, he knows the system of uh, fast style play. So we'll wait and see what happens. But hey, I'll be I'll be <laughs> be behind him, whatever, whatever. I'm really excited and it's so nice to see that the club are on the ball with these players bringing them in of course in fact a video that in fact what we didn't touch on yesterday is who's going to be our next captain who who could you see being our next captain in the current players that we've got uh, a lot of people go for Mowat that I think that is more the obvious one is Alex Mowat um, and I personally would like it to be an outfield player this time I prefer captains all the time being outfield players I think it's better can communicate better when they're attacking and stuff like that. I don't really. I never ever understood why a goalkeeper is captain because he cannot shout from one end of the pitch to the other. Really can, but nobody should really be able to hear him. Uh, so I think Mowat is is the obvious one, but we'll wait and see. Of course, uh, and that is a tweet from the football club as well regarding friendlies in Germany. So there we have it. But yeah, another signing on the ball, guys, and really really excited. Of course. Uh, and as I said, you know, that debate, whether let's know your thoughts on that, who you believe will be the number one out of these two uh, next season. It's a good situation to be in, like I said. Um, but um, that that's my personal view on that. My personal view is that um, that will be, it will be Brad Collins. Uh and another, also what else, else um, he said, it's great to be here at this great club. I've had a, a look at the stadium and it's beautiful. I can't wait to wear my boots and my gloves and play here. Um, standing six feet, five, six, six, five uh, inches tall, uh, and he prefers to be called Sammy. Uh, he's no stranger to playing his football abroad, having already played in Norway and, of course, Germany. Uh so yeah, I've worked with Daniel Stanley and Chris Stern before and over, so I know them really well, and also Mike uh, Barra. I made a phone call to Mike before I signed and he just told me I should come here because Barnsley has a lot of good things going on. It's great to meet back up and I'm very excited to be working with them again. So from reading that, you know, it does sound as though, you know, he's not here to warm a bench. He's not here to warm a bench. So who knows? Who, who, who knows? You know, I could be wrong in saying Brad Collins. Uh, you know, I think that, I think I'm more side to that because you know he was the first one who signed or whatever but I don't know it, it all goes down to what goes on in training and who impresses and everything like that and uh, yeah I'm, I'm so excited so excited because it's good it's good good that these players are coming in you know they're saying how happy they are to be here great club using the term great club uh, which is what I believe you know every Barnsley fan believes that the club is great even you know neutrals you know other 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 fans from all over say it's such a great club well run club family club etc so it's great to hear that players are saying that coming here and they're really happy to be here as well and that is also so so important uh, so thank you for watching this one guys let me know your thoughts on this one of course and uh, yes we'll see you in the next video hopefully there's some more signings in the next few days because I love talking about new signings and hopefully shirts as well and yes we haven't forgot about the giveaway either we're waiting on the shirt being released or getting a date for the shirt so thank you so much for watching guys let me know please let me know and uh, see you in the next video take care guys <laughs>